Hello, welcome back to my tech fan. I have a product review for this video and it is a TR2 Pro by Two Trees. Uh, this is 4 in 1 rotary model for the laser engravers, uh, which will replace the Y axis, and with this, we can engrave different 3D color, even spherical objects. It is multifunctional, easy to assemble, it has wide compatibility according to the website, and it is precise. Uh, 4 in 1, so it has the roller, so we can engrave some longer cylindrical objects. It has chuck for smaller cylindrical objects, for example. Uh, it can hold the spheres and even the rings. A uh, big question was for me which laser engraver to use here, because I have at least uh, 10 here in the in the storage. Uh, but uh, from two trees I have the TS2, which I already really wanted to use for this video, but it is a little bit too big for this desk. And uh, this is the older, older version, uh, TTS55. Uh, it is uh, approximately 10 cm smaller in X and Y direction. Uh, and it is not only far about uh, laser module, but basically what I experienced for engraving wood mostly, uh, more sharper lines I get with 5, laser, five watt laser modules, because those uh, 10 or 20 watt laser modules combine uh, several modules into one beam, and I notice that sometimes the manufacturers don't really uh, always want to focus them on one spot. Instead, they want to uh, prolong that uh, focus of different, uh, into different Z position. And with this, we can cut deeper. But for engraving only, especially wood, uh, I notice that 5 watt laser modules are really great. This laser engraver has uh, two stepper motors on Y axis. So one, of course, will be completely unplugged and the other will be unplugged too. But that cable will go into this uh, stepper motor of the rotary module. Now, actually, I got two packages. Let's see the smaller one first. Some decoration for Christmas tea. So it is spherical. I will test with these two. This is coffee mug, uh, it's in black color, some kind of black plastic. Maybe I can engrave something like this, we will see. Mm -hmm. These are properly legs, the extender for the laser engraver. With some T-nuts for the slot into our extrusion. This is the content of the second box. It's starting with this user manual. It really has a lot of components, so I have to check the part list if everything is included. So this is the main unit. Uh, this is the chuck with the jaws and the holder for the ring. This is some um, tambour knob M5 cables and uh, I can see some different types. Uh, belt, uh, bolts, tools and this is the support for the longer cylindrical object. This is a suction cup properly for holding the cylindrical parts, another holder, and of course the legs. First I want to lift it higher because I need more space between the module and the rotary module. The legs are prepared, I even glue here this uh, rubbery sticker. And this is the thin nut, it has to be in this position. For those who own a 3D printer too, maybe they could print something which is more easily adjustable, because you will see later I will need the spacers too from time to time. Unfortunately in this user manual there are no too good <laughs> informations how to wire this. Basically I know that I have to replace the Y stepper motor, but for example I have two cables. And I know that for different types of the engravers, but at least they could give us instructions for their own which have to be used. I can see uh, two wires in the middle are crossed on the black wire. First I will unplug this cable which goes to the second Y stepper motor. And this is the first Y stepper motor and I will use this cable to power the rotary module. Well in first try I will try to use the white one and if it will not work correctly then I will use the black one. Well, for first engraving I want to engrave this cylindrical cardboard, but I have to change the distance between these two rollers. And it's very easy because I can do it very quickly. And it's good that this design is not limiting the longer cylindrical objects. As you can see this part is longer than these rollers, but uh, it can be held in this uh, module. 
just in case if someone is not familiar with this, if you need to calculate the length of the perimeter of the circle of the, or of the spherical objects, you can measure the diameter and multiply this with the number p. I'm checking the moving of the axis, left and right works correctly, and now watching the cylinder up, down, but uh, it's moving opposite, so I will just rotate this uh, 180 degrees. Up, down. Now it's moving correctly. Let's set the focus. Uh, with this engraver I can do it with this distancer. In that case I have to remove this uh, shield. Or I need a 3 mm spacer. And now the laser is focused to the top of this surface. It's time to import the first file. It's a MyTech Fun text which will be engraved on this uh, cylinder. These are the settings, but I will show you always the use settings uh, during the engraving. More important are the dimensions. And now the bar and the recheck. Engraving. looks good and the dimension is also correct because I try to use here 80% of the perimeter. Now let's try to engrave something similar on this coffee cup, maybe on the back side. So this is not really cylindrical and only this part here, so I will try to support it on the other side. It will be good to have some kind of spirit level. Okay, now this surface is horizontal. The focus is set. As you can see, I lift it even higher a little bit. Well, it's there, it burns up the paint. Of course, I don't get the, this result, but uh, maybe just one more attempt here. It's visible, but my results are not even close to that uh, text next to it. Uh, probably it's not even created with the laser engraving. Okay, maybe this mug is only a gift and shouldn't be engraved. <laughs> Actually, now I notice it says a stainless steel mug. This means that this is stainless steel and uh, then I can engrave even with the 5W laser module. And from review of this engraver, I know that I can engrave uh, stainless steel if I use the black marker on the surface. If this would be aluminum, then this method wouldn't work. Well, something is there, but let's clean it. And success. Not too strong, but definitely this is what I expected from 5W laser module. I'm installing the chuck and for this I will need this timing belt, it will go here around this pulley and also I will need this M5 screw. And before I tie this knob I will put some tension on the timing belt. And it's ready. I want to engrave a logo on this uh, cylindrical part of the wood, but for this I will install these jobs on the chuck. Boundary check. I can see it's on the center and now engraving. <laughs> Definitely not perfect because I forgot to rescale the scale according to this uh, diameter. Mm, much better. So this was the first attempt and this is the second one which is also not perfect because I forget that it will be in mirror image. Now let's see what can we do with these spheres. This is a time lapse of approximately 2 minutes so I'm removing the jaws and then I'm inserting these uh, metallic holders and I'm rotating the module because this time I don't want the mirror image. For more accurate engraving I'm missing some information what is the exact uh, ratio between this pulley and this one on the chuck. Here I am inserting the holder for the suction cup, but later I realized that it is much easier if I do it in the vertical position of the module. 
Well, I want to mount this uh, cup, but the problem is that uh, I have only two T nuts, and the second one don't have any thread in it. Not sure if it's visible on camera, but there is no thread on this T nut. I have a lot of spare T nuts, but these are bigger and for M5, so I have to fix this one here. And now it is ready for installing. Boundary check. Not sure if it's visible on screen, but even the boundary check leaves the marks on this sphere, so definitely I have to start with bigger speeds and uh, maybe even only 50% power. Frost attempt with 4000 mm per minute and full power was way too strong. Oh. <laughs> 8000 mm per minute and only 20% power was much better, but maybe too weak now. Oh yes, much better. And so the tempo was the same speed, but this time with 40% power. This was my first attempt, and you can see the settings on the screen. My second attempt, maybe too light, and this one is the best. And the last test is the engraving the ring, well I don't have really a real ring, but I will try to engrave something on this piece of cardboard. I'm moving these holders to be closer to each other. Well, this definitely won't win any design awards, but uh, we know that this uh, module can be used for the ring engraving too. Well, depend on the material, of course. And my final thoughts about the serotonin module. It is a great product, I mean, four in one, uh, we can hold very different types of the cylindrical or spherical objects, but uh, it needs a lot of experimenting. And I'm not talking about the speed or engraving power, but uh, about the dimensions. Because one of the weakest points of this whole set is this, the user manual. First of all, uh, there are no instructions uh, which cable to use. It is very universal, but at least for their own engravers, the two trees could provide that uh, hey, use the white cable, not the black one. Uh, that's for, I know, different type of the brands. And uh, another thing is that uh, it would be good to know the ratio, for example, between this uh, pulley on the chuck and on the main module. Because uh, I noticed that I have to deform the object, and uh, maybe it is one to see something like that, to get a proportional engraved uh, printing, engraving. My, maybe my suggestion to two trees is to create very detailed videos how to separately use this uh, rotary part or the chuck or maybe engraving the ring and similar, mostly about setting those dimensions. Of course, uh, may, this may be different between the laser JBL and maybe the light burn, but uh, some basic instructions would be very useful. That's my experience with this uh, rotary module. If you have some additional, you know, a few lines in the comment section. Thank you for watching and happy and safe engraving.